Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about Armen backup and recovery concepts. We will, we will learn a lot of the concepts such as how to restore a control file, how to restore a redo log member or redo log file, how to restore redo log group, how to restore a data file, how to restore a table space how to restore system table space and how to restore entire database if it is corrupt so we'll go through all of these concepts before and i'll be using rman so everything will be in rman here so we will learn a lot of backup and restore scenarios not backup scenarios i'll take probably one or two backups and i'll show you the restore based on the same backup so before before doing that i i would like to explain you there is something called fra which is nothing but fast recovery area and to configure fra you need to have you need to set two parameters. So these are the two parameters. One is the DB recovery dash file says. So you, using this, you say what is the size of this FRA. And this is the location of the FRA. Make sure this directory exists So create a directory and then set this particular parameter. This is a dynamic parameter, which means you don't have to restart the machine the database you can you just have to say scope is equal to both so when you say scope is equal to both it will get updated in the sp file the fra is is important again it is not mandatory to use fra you can you can you can configure your database without fra however fra simplifies some some things such as when you take the backup of the database automatically if you don't specify at what location, it will automatically go into the FRA. So it does simplify some of your things. Now, I also want to explain you a, another concept. And that concept is basically archive block and no archive block. So where the database can be in archive log mode and it can be in no archive log. So when you say in archive log mode, you can take an online backup and you can restore your database to point in time consistent backup. When your database is in the no archive log mode, you can only take the database backup in the mount mode. Sorry, you can and you can do point in time recovery. What did I say? Point in time recovery. And here, in the no archive log mode, you cannot do point in time recovery. You can only do so no point in time recovery. These are the concepts. Now that we have understood this concepts, let's understand. Let's let understand the no archive and archive. So I've got a database. Let me connect to that particular database. So I'm going to connect to this particular database and I'm going to show you something. So I'm going to connect to a database and let's say SQL plus as sys dba and then i'm going to say select open mode from v dollar database and you can see the database is in rewrite mode what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try to take the backup of this database so what i'm going to do and to take the backup using our menu you'll say our main target slash and when you say slash you mean you you basically tell that you want to connect to the the current database the local database you have the option to specify the connection string the if the database is on the another system you can connect to that particular database from this system as well however our main target slash means that you are connecting to the local database now you ca you can also connect to this particular database using the sysdba so you know you can do something like this sorry not 
this DBA as this backup. So you can connect to your database, something like this. And now I'm connected to this database using Sys Backup Authority. Now you should probably use the Sys Backup utility to connect to the database. However, for the simplicity, I'll just use the Armen target slash. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to say Armen target slash. So I'm connected to the database. And what I'll do now is I'm going to take, try to take the backup of this database. Let's see whether we are successful. So I'm going to say backup database. And this command is going to fail because this particular database is in no archive log mode. So let me do that. And you can see, cannot backup the database in no archive log mode. Now, the, <coughs> the question is, is it possible to take the Armen backup? Is it possible to take the Armen backup when the database is in no archive log mode? Because clearly it doesn't allow us. Yes, it is possible. But in that case, your database should be in the mount mode. Only if the database is in the mount mode, you can take the backup. Now, before doing that, let me show you if there is any backup of this database. So let, let me run list backup and you can see there is no backup of this database. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say shh and I can do this using Armen or I can do this using SQL plus. So let me connect to this database one more time here as a SQL plus as this DBA and I'm going to say shut immediate. Once the database is in the shut, has been shut down, I'm going to say startup mount. Then I'm going to wait for this to happen. I'm going to come here. I'm going to clear the screen. I will not clear it. Let's leave it, leave it here. And I'm going to, I'm going to wait for this to complete. And database is mounted. Now here you can see database is mounted. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit from this. I'm going to connect to my database as Armen target. And then I'm going to try to take the backup of that particular database. Remember the backup, same command I'm going to use now. And now you should be able to see that our backup is, we are able to take the backup. And you can see the backup has started now. So we were able to take the backup of our database. But for that, we have to put the database in mount mode. And when the database is in the mount mode, no users can connect to the database basically the the users will not be able to so insert update delete will not happen in production if you can have the downtime you can take the offline backup or in the mount mode however most of the production databases don't allow you to take the offline because they need to run 24 by 7 which means that this particular method is not really a good method to take the backup of your production databases. What do we do? We convert the database in archive log mode. But before doing that, I'm going to set the FRA. And then I'm going to use that FRA. I'm going to use that FRA to set the archive log. So I'm going to set the FRA and I'm going to use that FRA to set the archive log. And how, how am I going to do that? So follow me clearly. Just follow me clearly. So I'm going to connect to the database. Right now, the database is in mount mode and I can do this in mount mode as well. So I'm going to, or you can do this when the database is open. So both is possible. So now I'm connected and you can see that the database is in the mount mode, name, comma, open mode from V dollar database. The database is in the mount mode. I'm going to run two commands. The First command is I'm going to set the DB recovery file desk and I'm going to set the deep size and this one. You cannot run them in the other way around. You have to first set the size and then the location. And before doing that, I'm going to create this particular directory. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just exit from here, clear the screen. I'm going to create the directory where my FRA will be. And you should have FRA on a separate disk and on a faster disk. However, I'm going to create it on the same mount port. Again, as I mentioned, you can you should have it on a different mount port. So now that I have created a location, what I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to set the size. So I'm going to set the size. So let's do that. So let me go to the SQL prompt and I'm going to set the size system altered. So I've set db recovery file the size and then I'm going to set the FRA. So I'm going to do that and that's done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to run a command called archive log list, which will tell me whether and you can see the database is in no archive mode. There is another way actually. So you can if you describe a table called if you describe a table called V dollar database, there will be a column called log mode. You can use this particular column. So let, let me exit from this. Let me clear my screen so I can clear the screen and I'm going to run and I'm going to say archive log list. This command shows whether the database is in archive log or no archive log and it says the no archive mode. And I'm going to say select log mode. That is another command log mode from V dollar database. And this also says that it is no archive log. Now I've set the FRA. So now if I say alter database archive log, database is altered. Now if I run archive log list, you can see it is in archive mode. And if I say select log, it should also say that it is archive log. The database is still in the mount mode. So we have not at open the database. So let's it's time to open the database. And to do that, we'll say alter database open. The database is open now. Let's verify. So you can see the database is in read write mode, which means the users will be able to connect to the database and they should be able to insert update in this particular database. Now, what's the advantage of being in archive log mode? One of the most important advantages you can take, you can take the backup while the database is in completely online. So now if I say backup database, it will work. So now it is taking the backup and it will work. Now, <clears throat> now that we have understood how to convert that, how to set the FRA, how to set the, how to convert the database from archive log to, sorry, no archive log to archive log mode. What we are going to do is we are going to understand if let's say the first scenario control file. So let's say we have to identify how many control files we have and I'm going to do that. I'm going to launch SQL developer. So let me go to SQL developer. Where is my SQL developer? Yeah, that's my SQL developer. So I'm going to launch this SQL developer. Let me close this. I'm going to connect to the database. I've already set all of the connection information and I'm going to say select star from v dollar control file what i'm going to do now is i'm going to delete one of the control file so i'm going to delete one of the control file before deleting the control file before deleting the control file i'm going to i'm going to actually show you something so, and what, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to connect to Armen again. And I'm going to show you show all. And here you can see that I have got control file auto backup on. This is very important that you turn on this particular parameter, the control file auto backup on this particular parameter, turn it on in your databases, irrespective of whether it is a production database or test database, every database, you just turn it on. The advantage of this particular parameter is when I said backup database, it actually also took the backup of control file. So if I say list backup, you can see that in this particular in this particular backup, you will be able to see that there is a there is the control file included and you can see control file included. So the backup and also the auto backup will happen of that particular file. So that is the advantage of this. And I can also show you one more way. So if I close this and you know what you can do, you can say view and you can say DBA 
and then here on the connections plus this plus this and then if you go here and if you go to the rman backup and recovery and you can see the backup sets you can see that we have control file sp file so the backup that i took has got the control file and sp file in it so that happened because of the rman auto backup now we have understood all of this what i'm going to do now is i'm going to delete the control file so before deleting the control file let's go back here i'm going to close this and i'm going to show you that there are two control files but before deleting i'm going to show you something so let me connect to the database one more time so exit minimize this minimize all of this clear the screen connect to the database and select name from v dollar database so i'm going to select the name of the database what i'm going to do now I'm going to remove one of the control file. So I'm going to go to the another screen and I'm going to say rm this. Now I'm going to run the same command one more time and probably wait for the failure to detect. So the one of the control file has been lost. So wait for that particular or I can say select open mode from v dollar database and it says read write so probably it has not at detected however losing a control file is disastrous the database should cr crash if it has already not crashed it will crash sooner or later so what you will do is like you will say shut immediate and let's see what happens and when you are trying to do the shut immediate it should actually say it should tell you that one of the control file is not present let's give it a minute and you can see it says one of the control file is not specified now let me exit from this and let me see if the database is still online and it's still online so what what let's we try to shut it down and we were not able to shut it down so we we tried to shut down the database and it was not possible to shut shut down the database so it went into connected so it has actually now it is in the probably in the mount mode so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to say shut about we have lost the control file one of the control file we have lost so i'm going to say shut about and i'm trying going to try to start the instance or start the database so it is in the so i'm going to say startup and it is it will not come online so you can see it will not come online it is saying error in identifying control file which means that basically this particular database will we will not be able to bring this database what are the options we have we have two options so one option is you simply copy another control file as 01 so you simply copy the 02 as 01 that should work or you you can restore the you can restore the control file from the backup if you have the backup and i'm going to do the simple way so i'm going to take this file so i'm going to take this file so i'm going to say so leave it at this point i think it should already let's see what exactly has happened so it's it's there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to copy this particular file clear copy this file as this file that's done now i'm going to go here and i'm going to say alter database mount and alter database open and then our database is completely in read write mode if i now shut down it should shut down properly and if i say shut up it should start up properly it should not it will not give us any error on the control file now here you can see that error in identifying control file check alert log for more info 
The reason why I knew what, what is the control file because the screen was open. But what if you don't know what was which because here it is not telling you which control file is lost. So what you need to do in this case is you need to check the alert log. And where is that alert log? Where is your Oracle alert log? So for that, and for some reason, it is taking time to shut it down. Uh, oh, anyway, it's, it's, it's getting shut down. So if you want to find out where is the alert log, you have to use a view called v dollar diag info. That is the location where you will find the alert log of your database. So what I'm going to do now is once this is done, I'm going to, and that is in the trace directory. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this location and I'm going to say select value from v dollar diag info and here you can see it's a trace entry so I'm going to go to that location under this you will find a file called alert so I'm going to say this and you can see let me clear this so I am under the trace directory and under this there is a file called alert for that particular database I'm going to look at that particular file and here if I go down somewhere here, it will make it would have mentioned that that particular control file is lost. So let's verify. So let's take a look. And it would have clearly because we restarted a couple of times, we, we have to go up and down. But here somewhere it would have mentioned that one of the control file would have got lost. So let's let's take a let's take a I can definitely search it, but I think we are near. No. Let's do something. to get and uh, you can see here cannot open this particular control file so it was clearly showing us which control file it was not able to and that's the control file that i copied so i removed that control file you can see here i removed that control file and then it was telling the alert log was telling us which control file is lost and using this particular information you can recreate that particular control file there is another option if you if you can't get it in the error log you can always find out what are your control files using the sp file so if you go to the and where is the sp file so let me clear this particular screen and if i go to cd dollar oracle home slash dbs and if i look at and probably it will be in the sp file so let's let's do something so if i yeah so it won't be there we won't be able to because there is no init file basically so we won't be able to find it yeah because there is no init file so what we, what we need to do in this case when there is no sp file there is no init file we can actually create or we can actually go to we can actually go to SQL plus as sysdba and we can say show parameter control and you can see that these are the location where the control file. So one of the location we deleted this particular file and then what I did is like I actually shut it down, copied the other control file with the same name and I was able to open the database. This, I was able to open, I was able to recover this control file because only one control file was lost. What if my both of the control files are lost? Then what am I going to do? So I'm going to show you how to recover from that particular scenario. So exit and where are my control files? They are here. So I'm going to go to that location, clear, cd, ls minus l control. These are the two files. I'm going to remove this and i'm going to remove this now i'm going to say ls minus l and cannot access control star cont star no such file or directory now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect to the database here 
and I'm going to say select name from V dollar database and it says control file could not be found. So there is no control file because both the control files are lost. In this case, the method that I just explained, copy the other control file, that is not going to work because we have lost both of the control files. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to restore the control file from the auto backup. So <clears throat> that is, and what if you will ask me if you don't have the auto backup as well, if you have lost both the control files, what you will do? There is an option to do that and that is recreate the control file. However, recreating the control file is not as easy. It is slightly difficult. It's not difficult as in so much difficult, but it is not easy thing to recreate the control file. So I'm, I'm going to skip that particular part and I'm going to just show you how to restore the control file from the backup. So now when we took the backup, it, it, it actually when we did the list backup, you would have known where is the backup. Otherwise, you have to keep, you have to make sure that you doc document where are the backups, etc, etc. You document all of that. And that's where the control file auto backup comes into the picture. Now, I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to that location. And I know that location because that's the location that we, and remember, we set up the FRA. So here in the FRA, you should be able to find the control file auto backup. So let's go to that location. Let me clear the screen. Let me put this in the middle. Let me let me go to that location. Under this, you should be able to find a sub directory. I did not create it. Oracle created this. Under this, you should be able to find an auto backup. Under this, you should be able to find a folder with the date. And under this, you have this particular location. So keep a note of this location and keep a no note of this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it here. So let me take the directory and let me take the name of the file. I'm going to put the quotes around this and I'm going to say restore control file from this. So now before doing that, let's let's exit from here clear go to the location where we know that our control files were supposed to be so sorry not here ls minus l c o n t r star control star and there is absolutely nothing so now i'm going to clear this particular screen rman target slash connecting to the database and you can see that control file it cannot find the control file etc etc so it's not allowing us so what you have to do is let's shut down the database shut a bot because anyway the control files are not there so you, there is no clean shutdown when the control files are not there it's not a clean shutdown start up the database in no mount mode exit sorry not exit clear this say our main target now you can see previously when I said admin target, it was giving this error. Now it's no longer giving this error. We formed a command, this restore control file from this location. So we form this particular command and exit from this, clear the screen, do ls minus l control. There's nothing here. I'm going to say this command, restore control file from this location. I'm going to give a course and you can see that this, it has restored these two control files, finished restored. And now if I say ls minus l, you can see we have control 01 and control 02.ctl. So the control files, no such files, but we have successfully restored the control files. All good. Now, once the control files are restored, we cannot open the database straight away. So if I say alter database open, okay, that is a spelling mistake. So if I say alter database open, let's see what happens database not mounted so let's mount first a database
and then let's try to open the database and since we have restored the control file we have to use reset logs so let's try to use the reset logs option and you can see that the database now needs the restore because we have restored the control file you have to restore the the data file and then you have to recover them so we won't allow us so let's do that so let's say restore database and that's let's say recover database and that's done now we'll try to open the database in reset logs mode and this time it will open successfully and that's done now let's try to connect to the database and we should be able to connect to our database and where is that yeah and we were connected and if i say select name comma open mode open mode from v dollar database you can see that we have successfully connected so basically what we did we learned two scenarios one is the control file one of the copy one control file lost so in this case what we did shut down the database copy the surviving control file with the same name surviving control file with the same name start the database in case if all of the control files are lost then we used rmen to restore the control files then we have to restore the database then we have to recover the database then we have to open the database alter database open reset logs hope these two concepts are clear so we have learned how to restore the control file if one of the control file is lost and if all of the control files are lost what are the steps we have learned them now again if you you will ask me if you don't have the backup as well as if you don't have the if you don't have the control file backup is it possible yes it is possible however you have to recreate the control file you can recreate the control file it's slightly difficult not impossible slightly difficult i will not cover that topic let's move on to the next scenario and the next scenario is basically loss of redo logs so i hope you understand the concept of redo log so redo log there are there is two things one is redo log and there is a redo log member and there is a redo log group so there is a redo log and there is a redo log group so let's so v dollar log and i'll say order by group hash so redo log this is the this is basically redo log group and redo log group is made of one or more redo log files so here i have three groups redo log groups redo log group 1 2 and 3 and in each redo log group i have only one redo log file or redo log member or log group member so this is the member and this is the group now what i can have is i can i can have more than three groups and i can have more than i can have more than one redo log file per group so to so if i want under this group if i want to add one more file i can do that so how how do i do that so what i'll do is like you have a command alter database so i'm going to run this particular command so i'm going to say alter database add so th for this redo log group i'm going to say as b the second file as b to group 1 so to group 1 i'm adding a another redo log group so redo log file or redo log member so i'm going to alter database now let's look at the files and you can see that for one it says invalid because it is not used which is fine don't bother about this invalid don't think that it is not working this invalid means it has never been used 
and you can see now I for the redo log group one there are two files in here in here you, you will not be able to see anything so you can see members are two rest all has got one one but apart from that you will not be able to find out that whether there are whether what are the groups what are those files so this is the redo log member this is the redo log group now what if the the we need to understand the recovery of redo log and from the recovery of redo log so basically you have to understand two concepts one is what if one of the member is lost if one of the member is lost nothing will happen to the database the database will be still be surviving however it should be it should not be an active redo log group it should not be an active if the active if the active redo log group sorry the current redo log group is lost then probably your database will crash and then you will have to restore from the backup so we 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 have to understand so what i'll do now i'll take one more backup of this particular database oh why did i exit okay so let me connect to set the environment variable say rmen target slash i'm going to say backup database and i'm going to also say backup archive log sorry backup archive log all okay that's done now what i'm going to do is we have taken the backup of the database we have taken the backup of archive log what i'm going to do now is i'm going to i'm going to find out what is the current one and current one is redo log group 2 and i'm going to from this redo log group 2 which is current i'm going to delete that particular redo log file so i'm going to just delete that particular file so this is the file i'm going to delete this particular file so i'm going to do that let me do it here and i'm going to say rm So it's okay. Let's not do that. Let's actually. So let's. Uh, so how do you you are still able to see this invalid, right? So how do you make it not invalid? So basically null. Okay. So what you what what I'll do? I'll switch through all of these log files. So to do that, uh, we have a command called alter system switch log file that's done i'll do it one more time and now let's take a look at our and you can see that none of the log files has got the the invalid status which means they have been used at least once and if i now take a look at which is the current the current one is redo log group one so now what i'll do is i'm going to remove one of the so this is the current one which is group number one and from this, I'm going to just remove this file. This is the file, or maybe I'll remove this file, the first one. I'm going to remove this particular file. So let me, let me RM this. And what will happen when, you know, what will happen is like, the because this particular database, this particular redo log group had two files, your database will continue to function. However, if you check in the alert log, it will complain about one of the missing logs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create, I'm going to create a, a particular table. So let me create a table and I'm going to create in a user's table space. So let me create a table. So let me say create table in the user's table space. In table space users, let me create one table. And then the table is created and I'm going to insert some records into that particular table using a PL SQL loop. A thousand records. Before doing that, let me, okay, this is not going to work actually. So let me this table is not going to work actually. So let's create another table because I have not have a second column. So let me say C2, um, maybe character. 
four. And what I'm going to say is C2 values and I'm going to say test and I'm going to create the re recreate that second table that's done. Let's insert some records and I'm going to select from from those records so select star from t2 users so there will be a lot of the records so you can see there are there are close to i let me see how many it should be close to thousand records because this particular loop was repeated thousand times so that should be thousand records so let's verify and you can see there are thousand records now what i'm going to do i'm going to say commit Okay, that's all good. So the database is completely functional. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down the database and let's and turn it turn back the database. So I am shutting down the database and I'm turning the database back online. So let's wait for and you can see the database will come back normally. It will it will not malfunction. It will because the, the thing is we had two read log groups and one of the read log group is lost not not so so other read log group is still surviving so which means that database will still come online so that that won't be you can see database open and if i now if i now select from that particular table you should be able to see that okay so you can see that we still have that thousand records however if i now go to that location select value from v dollar diag info and if i go to this trace location and if i tail minus 100 alert this and here it clearly says unable to obtain this so it, it is not able to find this particular radio log group at all it is not able to find this log group at all however our database is still working fine our database is still working fine so no issues with our database however one of the log group is now missing so what we will do now in this case is what we can do is let's let me try to find out so we can see that this particular log group is no longer there oracle is clearly giving a message that this particular file is not present so what we will do is we will we will actually drop that member and then we will add the member okay so before doing that let's find out which which group is current so right now the one is current so what we will do we will switch we will switch we'll make the second one as the current alter system switch log file that's done let's run this particular command so now the two is current so what we will do we will clear the we will clear the log file log file group one So we are going to create clear the log file group one. A log cannot be dropped or clear until the threads checkpoint has advanced out of the log. So let's do one thing. Alter database okay. sorry alter system checkpoint so this let's try to now clear the and you can see database altered now let's look let's go to that location
and you can see that the read log group file 01 has appeared again. So that that particular file has appeared again. So we don't see we so that particular file. So basically this particular command alter system alter database clear log file group one recreated that particular file and I'm going to prove it to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this particular alert log. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to shut down the database. And I'm going to exit. I'm going to remove the alert log file. I'm going to start up the database. And I'm, I, I want to see whether the alert log still complains that there is a missing log file. So I'm going to check on that. So I'm going to open that particular file and let me go down and you should be able to see that we now no longer have the message about read log file missing and I'm going to search on that let's see and you can see that we don't have anywhere any message about radio log group which means that this command was used to to clear the log file and we were able to we were able to actually recreate the radio log group now this particular method works when when if this particular method works if we have more than one radio log group because the other radio log group still has the all the information now what if the as you can see that our other our other read log groups has only one members what if that particular file is lost so entire read log group is lost so if i delete this particular file what will happen so let's see what is the current read log group so current read log group is read log group 2 let's verify what is the file for the read log group 2 and that's this particular file so this is the file for read log group 2 so I'm going to take this particular file. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to remove that particular file. So let's let's remove that particular file. So I'm going to say rm this. And before doing that, let's do something. Let's go to that location. And let's verify how many files we have. Redo log files. So we have four. I'm going to remove this particular file. So I'm going to copy this particular file. I'm going to say rm. I'm going to delete that particular file and now if I say you can see redo log redo 02 log is not there and that's the file which is actually current. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to create another table called t3 users and I'm going to insert some records into that particular table and I'm going to select the count and I'm going to do the commit etc etc. So I'm going to do all of these things. Let's try doing this. So I'm going to create a table. So table is created. I'm going to insert some records, maybe 10,000 records. I'm going to insert. That's done. I'm going to commit and I'm going to select count from T3 users. You can see 10,000 records. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say shut immediate and I'm going to start the database. So after shutdown, I'm going to say start up the database. And if I'm not wrong, then this database will not come online. This database will not come online. And that is because that particular radio log group is missing. And that was the current radio log group. It was the current radio log group. So it will not come online. And let's wait. Let's identify if it is coming online. Database mounted. 
and you can see end of file communication channel. So we have some kind of problem. And unfortunately, it's not telling us, it's not even telling us what kind of problem it is. So this is little bad because it's not telling us, but again, we have, we have our way. So go to the trace location and, and try to find out. So let's open the alert log and let's see what message it gives. So let's go down and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see online read log group two can unable to obtain the status. So it's not able to find this particular file because we have deleted this particular file. We have absolutely deleted that particular file. So let's exit clear and I'll do LS minus L on that particular file. And you can see there is no such file. I've deleted it. So in this case, in this case, we will try one or two options. Let's see what option works. So what I'm going to do now, so let me connect to the database. Let's see in which mode it is. So connected to idle instance. So let's start up the database in mount mode. And what we will do, we will run a command called alter database clear log file group two. So we'll try to clear the log file group two and it needs to be archived. So, but unfortunately what happened is like the video log group file, the file to read log zero two was deleted even before it was archived. So we don't have any archive. So it says we need to archive it, but we don't, we don't have that file to archive. What are we are going to do? So what we are going to do now is we are going to say clear the unarchived lead log group file too. So we are going to clear that. We understand there is a risk to this. We don't have the, we don't have the backup strategy, etc., etc. So what we need to immediately take another backup, full backup, literally to come out of this situation. However, we have done that. Now, if I try to say alter database open, we should be able to open the database and now let me connect to the database and let's see the count star and we should be able to see all our records intact. So this is the scenario. So in case if one of the little log is lost, we can just clear it. If, if we have, to, if entire little log group is done, then we have to un, we have to say, and if it was not archived, we have to say unarchived block file group too. So this is the way. So we learned now we have learned how to restore from a loss of one little log file and we have lost we have also learned how to and how to recover from entire relog group loss the next part that i'm going to talk about is if one of the data file is lost so what i'm going to do <coughs> let me let me clear all of this okay let me keep, just keep this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new table space so i'm going to create a table space before doing that so let's okay so i'm going to create a new table space so i'm going to create a table space called this called table space one and i'm going to create with size one gb auto extend one so i'm going to create this particular table space the table space is created let me close all of this and what i'm going to do i'm going to create the table called t3 users in this table space one and I'm going to insert some 10,000 records and I'm going to commit it. So let me run all of these three together. That's done. Let me close this. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the count from this T3 and we should have 10,000 records. You can see I'm going to insert another close to another 10,000 record. Let me clear all of this and let me run select count star and we should now have 20,000 records. All good. And let's verify where is this particular table? Where is this particular table? So let's verify where is this T3 TS1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say select star from DBA tables where let's actually run this command where table name equals in this I'm going to say t3 underscore 
ts1 this is the table name and i'm trying to find out in which table space it is and you can see that that particular ta table is in the users so i don't want it to do that so the mistake that i did is here so i created it in the same table space so i'm going to create another because to correct my mistake i'm going to create another table space sorry not another table space i'm going to create the another table i'm going to and i'm going to straight up instead of inserting 10000 two times i'm going to insert this so let me do all of this together and so okay so let's this is the mistake so let's run this and that's done so 20000 records so now if i say d sorry not t3 now t4 if i say this particular table this should be in the ts1 table space now what i'm going to do and i'm uh, check, going to check what is the data file for this ts1 table so that i will use select star from dba data files and then what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this particular file let me clear this clear this and ls minus l that file exists and i'm going to now remove that particular file that's done now you can see no such file or directory now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to shut my database and i'm trying to bring it online and when i try to do that let's see what exactly happens Okay, it's trying to shut down so you can see it's not able to shut down the database because it is not able to identify so it is not able to shut down the database because it clearly says it cannot identify so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say shut about and i don't have to do the shut about but basically what i'll do now is i'll try to restore this particular table space a data file so what is this data file this particular data file is five remember this particular data file so what i'm going to do now it's not allowing us to shut down so even if i shut down shut about so let's do something let's say shut about and if i say startup it is going to give us the error so i'm going to say shut about and then i'm going to say startup is going to give us the error and i don't have to do this so you can see the database mounted it is not opening the database it's open is mounted but it is not opening the database so now if i say select open mode from v dollar database the database is now right now is in the mount state what we are going to do now is we don't have to restore entire database because only one of the data file is lost we can only restore a particular data file so what we are going to do now is we are going to say alter data alter database data file five offline so we have turned the data file five in offline mode now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the rman and we are going to say restore and basically we don't have to you know what we can do now is we can open our database so that's done now if i go here and if i try to select the records from t4 i will not be able to get any record because that particular table space is not online however if i try to take the records from t3 ts1 you can see i'm still able to which means the tables from other table space are still present only from that particular table space we are not able to because that particular table space is currently offline or it is not able to oracle is not able to read that particular data file at all all good so now what we are going to do we are going to go to the rman and we are going to say restore the data file five and then we are going to say recover data file five then what we are going to do we are going to say alter and we are go i'm going to copy the same command online and then i'm going to go here and i'm going to we were getting this error let's run the same query again 
And now you can see we inserted 20,000 records. Those 20,000 records are back in our database. So we learned how to restore from a data file. So if a particular data file is lost, how to restore that data file? We learned about it. The next topic that I'm going to cover is how if the what happens if the system data file is lost. Now there is a difference between uh, and that's where the concept of critical data file and non-critical data files comes up. So critical data file or critical table spaces, you can call you Oracle divides them into critical and non-critical. The SysOx and system are critical. The non-critical are non-critical is basically your users, your any application table spaces, these are non-critical. So if you lose, if you lose a system table space, if you lose a system table space, you have to, you have to do the, you have to restore the database, recover and open in reset logs mode. You can, you cannot do it online. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete a system data file. So, so I'm going to find out what is that system data file name. So let's run this particular command. And I'm going to delete the system data file itself. So I'm going to do that. So let's exit clear rm done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see if the database is all good. It's all good. So I'm going to, I don't want to wait for it to identify the failure, etc. It will happen in the background. So I'm going to shut it about shut immediately. It will not shut down. The database will not shut down because there is no system data file it will basically it will give us the error so you can see end of the communication so what i'm going to do now is probably it has already done it so i'm going to do shut about but it would have already done that so what i'm going to do now so connected to idle listeners all good so now what i'm going to do we have to restore the database so what we'll do when the when the system table space is lost we don't have any choice we have to restore the entire table database so our main target restore table space system so yeah that's fine i did not open the database into mount mode sorry yeah alter database mount ah, right startup mount exit our main target restore table space system recover table space system Media recovery requesting unknown archive log for thread one. Now this is slightly a problem. And so while I was restoring system table space, I actually made a mistake and that caused that particular failure. And that mistake was basically I was Remember, I did a complete restore of the database and then after that, I did not have the backup. And then because of that, I had this particular problem. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you something similar. So what I'm going to do now is like, you know, that we have got a table and with this 20,000 records. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this system data file. So I'm going to drop that particular system data file. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to say RM. I'm going to drop that. Once that is done, let me shut down this particular database. So let me shut down the database. And shut immediate and basically it will crash because there is no system data file. It should crash. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say shut about. If it has not already shut down. And then I'm going to open the database in 
no mount mode then i'm going to connect here in another session with armen i'm going to say restore table space system i'm going to now say recover table space system i'm going to come here and i'm going to say alter database open that's done let me connect to this particular database and let's verify if we are able to and you can see we have got that 20000 record so that's the way that's the way that we have restored our system table space so we learned how to restore how to restore a non data non table space non critical data file which is nothing but application and we also learned how to restore a system data file the only difference if it is a critical non critical your database can be up and running you have to just take that particular data file offline you cannot take a system data file offline so if i say alter database data file let's see the number of system data file and that is one so let's try to take one offline and you will not be able to take this offline system data table space cannot be brought offline so you when you have to restore it you have to shut down your database you cannot you cannot restore your system data file or system table space when the database is online now for other table spaces which is not critical data table spaces you can restore them while the database is completely up and running now finally what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to um we are going to simulate a complete database failure complete database we are going to delete each and every file so control file read log file and the and the data base so let me let before doing that let's verify if we have any backup available so let's try to see if we have any backup and looks like we have a backup and we can see here as well so let me refresh this and let's see and we have a couple of backups here let's see let's see let's see let's see and looks like 258 306 so let's maybe not that let's see so 257 and 301 there is a backup at 301 so looks like we have we have quite a lot of backups so we are going to now what we are going to do is like we are i'm going to go to this location and i'm going to delete everything so control file log file and this data files so i'm going to go to that location and i'm going to just clear everything so rm minus rf stop everything is gone so you can see this particular directory is completely empty now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, by now the database should be crashed actually in real time but let's see what exactly happens so i'm going to say select count start from and you can see it still says that you know i can get the records etc etc so let me try to create another table called t5 let's see what exactly happened and it says table space created table created let's try to insert some records into that and that's done let's see the records so you know it 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 looks like it's working however it's really nothing is there in this particular database so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to shut down this particular database and i'm going to start this database so shut immediate it will you can see control file is not there so i'm going to shut a bot so now we do not have control file we do not have read log file we do not have the table spaces so what we are what we need to do is first thing is we need to restore the control file so go to our main target we need to know where is the control file so let's go to the location so it looks like it is here cd to that location ls minus lrt and this is the latest 
file so take that particular file and write a command restore control file from this location and oracle not available whatever 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 okay that's fine and what we are going to do is we are going to sql plus assist dba let me clear this i'm going to say alter database let's see startup mount Oh, sorry, startup no mount. And then I'm going to go here, exit, clear, arm and target, run the restore control file command. No auto backup, restore control file from. No auto backup found. The backup is not a valid and this is not restore control file from DBT. This is interesting. Oh, yeah, that is not that. The directory is not correct. So okay so maybe i copied a wrong file yeah looks like i copied a wrong file that's okay so what did i do oh okay so there is no okay right i got i got, got what i did mistake so this one will also fail so let me actually do something let's uh it's here there is a mistake here right now it will work clear arm and target and this time it should work so now that control file is restored we can actually open the database in mount mode so alter database mount And I'll go to that location where we deleted everything. CD slash DVD slash aura data slash aura 19D LS minus L clear. You can see the control files have appeared. Now we'll restore the database, recover the database, and open the database. You can see all the all the data files have come online sorry not online they have been restored so now time to recover the database and media recovery requesting for thread one with sequence 27 and starting at cn of whatever whatever i'm i'm not bothered about that so i'm going to say alter database open reset logs And that's done now i'm going to exit clear connect as equal plus select name comma open mode from v dollar database and it is open and let's try to see the records from our t4 table forget about the t5 we have restored it it won't be there so if I go to T5, let's see, you can see there is no tab table called T5. The table T5 we created is gone because we have restored to previous point in time. So you can see that we have this particular records. I hope this particular use was, I hope this particular tutorial was useful. 
we learned a lot of scenarios in this basically what i covered is i do not know how to do the restore of one control file all the control files relog member relog file entire relog group restore of a data file restore of a system table space and restore of an entire database we also learned how to configure fra how to convert the database in archive log etc etc i hope this particular tutorial was useful thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye